My fundamental purpose, the painter Norman Rockwell once said, is to interpret the typical American. I am a storyteller. Over his lifetime, Rockwell became one of the most significant American artists of the 20th century, creating beloved and iconic images that captured in rich, vivid detail certain essential truths about the heart and the mind of the American character. Born in 1894, Rockwell was somewhat of an art prodigy. At the tender age of 19, he became the art editor for the popular magazine Boy's Life. At 22, he created the first cover illustration for the Saturday Evening Post, the most widely circulated publication in America. The Post became a home for Rockwell for over 50 years. Perhaps what distinguished Rockwell most was his uncanny ability to tell an entire story in a single image. His first full-color cover for the Saturday Evening Post from 1926 is a marvelous example of Rockwell's knack for infusing his paintings with a palpable vitality. Here we see a colonial-era artist hard at work on a sign for a tavern his brush mid-sweep across the eye of a cartoonish figure that looks not unlike founding father George Washington. The artist appears in a moment of such concentration that he doesn't notice the paint pot teetering on the edge of his palette. Rockwell places a wine jug near his foot, a wink to the viewer that perhaps a little liquid libation might also be moving the artist's hand. Although Rockwell would never lose his sense of humor, in the years surrounding World War II, the stories he painted expressed the new gravity that centered the American character. As war raged around the globe, the U.S. was exposing itself to great loss, sacrifice, and the question of why and to what end we were sending our fellow Americans overseas. In 1943, Rockwell completed a series of four canvases that depicted each of the four freedoms President Franklin Delano Roosevelt had recently told the nation were essential to human rights. Universal freedoms that deserve defending. Freedom of speech. Freedom from want freedom of worship, and freedom from fear. The following year, in 1944, Rockwell painted Which One? Undecided Man in Voting Booth, which may be considered a kind of addendum to the four freedoms, representing as it does the right of citizens to freely choose their leadership. Here we see a gentleman pausing inside an election booth to reflect one last time on how to cast his vote. The newspaper in his hand tells us that he's from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and the numbers of political pamphlets stuffed in his pocket lets us know he's weighing his options very seriously. America was in the middle of a tight presidential race between the incumbent Democrat Roosevelt and Thomas E. Dewey, then the Republican governor of New York. Would we elect FDR to his fourth consecutive term despite the rumors of his failing health? Or would we take a chance on a new, young political upstart? Looking at Rockwell's painting in the wake of this year's election, we might be reminded that American democracy is forged by the hands of each and every one of America's citizens. Both these paintings represent the fullness of Norman Rockwell's compassionate vision for a country he truly loved and a people who he believed were most essential to its greatness.